Hello everyone, my name is Joey. Today I'm going to show you what the best export settings are in Lightroom, or at least in my opinion they are the best, the ones I use. Uh, this video is by popular demand and popular request, um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so anyway, to begin, it all starts with sharpening. Um, when you sharpen your photos, I, at least me, I like to keep it anywhere from 35 to about 75. Anywhere in between there is really good. Any more and you'll get super, super grain. And any less than that, it'll be kind of uh, smooth and weird looking, I guess. Um, then it comes with masking. Masking is very important as well because it kind of, um, I guess, smooths it out a little bit. And then noise reduction, I use amount, masking, and luminance here. And those are the only three I use. A lot of people overlook this, but I, I think it's very, very necessary. What I'll do with the luminance tab, I will go ahead and add anywhere from 10 to 20. Same with the masking, 10 to 20. And that's all, about all I'll do for that. And then what I'll do for export settings, I don't mess with at all. I do not mess with the export location because that should be personal to you. I do not change file naming. I do not change video settings. I change file settings only to limit the file size to 5 megabytes. That is all I, all I will do and I will keep the image format into JPEG, the color space into sRGB, and that is it. For image sizing, I will do a resolution of 300 pixels per inch, just for whatever reason, if I need to print it out and have a really, really big print of it, just in case for whatever reason. Um, so that way you don't ever have to go back any less, and then it'll just look kind of weird if you print it out. Um, but besides that, I don't really mess with a whole lot of anything. I just keep my resolution at 300. I'd advise all of you to do so as well, unless you find something that works better for you, then by all means, do your way. Um, for output sharpening, I don't do anything because I've already sharpened my photo. Uh, for metadata, me metadata <laughs> um, I'll just keep default settings, which was as you see here. Uh, watermarking, I don't mess with unless I'm doing professional or commercial work. And then post-processing, I just, um, have it after export show and explore or if you're on Mac it'll say show in finder um, but that's about it and then I'll go ahead and export it now I already exported it earlier so I gotta overwrite it um, let's see what it looks like what so what's gonna happen is when you zoom in quite a bit actually when you zoom in it'll have a lot of noise and kind of grain I guess you wanna call it um, and that's no problem if you're gonna just post this on a computer or on your phone or on Instagram or any anywhere else but uh, the more you mess with the photo the more you manipulate and edit it the more this is gonna happen especially if you shoot at a high ISO like I did um, but anyway overall it looks great I think it's a uh, it turned out really well um, anyway I guess that is it for the video if you have any more suggestions or requests please let me know in the comments I'd love to see them and I'd like to make more videos for you guys to watch and learn and enjoy um, so yeah, alright guys, uh, like it and subscribe, see you later.